So this is our example number two for uniaxial, multiaxial, and shear loading topic. Two 1.75 inch thick rubber pads are bonded to three steel plates to form the shear mount shown in figure A. Find the displacement of the middle plate when 1,200 pound load is applied. Consider the deformation of rubber. Use E is equals to 500 PSI and um, nu is equals to 0.48 for rubber. Okay. So, ito yung ating uh, figure. Ayan. Ito yung ating uh, elevation or side view. Then, ito yung ating three plate. So, okay. so ito na yung top view natin. Okay. So, this is 9 inch. Okay. Yung sa rubber. Ito yung rubber natin. Yung blue. Then, ito naman. Ang, ang thickness ng ating rubber is 1.75. And okay, then, i-apply natin ng 1,200 pounds ito middle plate natin. So, ibig sabihin, mag-share yan. Kasi, i-slide yan eh. Mag-i-slide yung ating rubber. Okay? So, ang tanong dito, ano raw yung displacement of the middle plate when the 1,200 pound load is applied? So, ano daw yung displacement ng ating plate dito? Okay, magkakaroon tayo ng shear and yung ating shear is ma-apply rito nakakaroon tayo ng shear strain. Ma-apply kasi dito yung shear natin eh. Okay? So, ito na lang i-consider natin. Itong top. Papapi na lang natin to. Yan. So, ngayon, yung shear natin is ma-apply dito. Sabi ko nga. Okay? So, ano yung area ng ating shear? Ito yung area natin na gagamitin. Yan. Yan yung masashear kasi natin. Okay. So, kailangan natin munang kunin yung shear stress. Okay? Kasi di ba yung ating ano, yung ating uh, shear strain o yung ating shear stress is equals to modulus of rigidity multiplied by gamma. So, ito yung uh, hanapin natin. Yung gamma dito. Kasi di ba mauusog yan eh. Okay? So kung uusog yan, gaganito yung ating rubber. Okay? So gaganyan siya. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. So ngayon, hanapin natin yung angle na to. Yung ating gamma. Ayan. So sabi natin ano, since malit lang din naman to, i-straight na natin yan. So, hanapin natin itong gamma na to. Yan. Okay? So, pag nahanap natin yung gamma na yan, okay, i-multiply natin sa 1.75 para makuha natin yung ano, displacement. So, kasi yung displacement natin, sabihin natin, ano, um, yan, delta x. Yan, yung delta x natin, yung displacement natin, yung ating middle plate. Ayan. So, para lang tayong gumawa ng triangle dyan. Ayan siya. So, this is gamma and this is delta x. Tapos, ito naman yung ating 1.75 inch na thickness ng ating rubber. Okay? So, kunin natin yung ating shear stress. So, shear stress is equals to shear force over A. So, ano yung shear force natin? So, since dalawa yung rubber natin dito, dalawa yung may slide, dalawa yung ating shear stress. So, meron tayo itong shear stress, ah, sorry, shear force and shear force. Ibig sabihin, dalawa yung ating B. So, 2B is equals to P. Therefore, ang ating B is equals to P over 2. Ayan. So, ang ating, okay, so this is equals to P over 2. A. So, 1,200 pounds over 2 multiplied by area. Ang area natin is 5 multiplied by 9. Ayan. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo dito, ito yung masishear natin. Okay? So, ngayon, ang ating shear stress is equals to 1,200 over 2 multiplied by 5 times 9. So, 13.333. So, 13 0.333 Okay, so PSI Ayan So, kunin natin yung G 
Meron ba tayong given na G? Wala. Pero meron tayong given na E and no. So, makukuha natin yung G. So, G natin is equals to E over 2 multiplied by 1 plus no. So, ang E natin is 500 PSI over 2 multiplied by 1 plus 0.48. So, ang ating modulus of rigidity, 500 over 2 multiplied by 1 plus 0. 0.48 so 169.919 so 169.919 and this is also PSI so masasab na natin yung ating um, okay shear strain so gamma is equals to shear stress over G and unit less to kasi parehas na PSI so yung ating shear stress is 13.33 3 over 169.919 So yung ating shear strain na gamma is 13.333 over 169.919 So 0 0.0785 0 0.0785 So unit less Ayan, so dito Ayan siya Okay? So, anong pwede natin gamitin dyan? Opposite end, adjacent. Okay? Tangent. Tama ba? So, ang ating tangent, gamma, is equals to opposite delta x over adjacent na 1.75. Eh, kaso, hindi kailangan gamitin yung tangent, gamma. Bakit? Kasi ang ating tangent, gamma, is also equals to gamma. Kasi sobrang liit lang dun eh. Sobrang, sa sobrang liit niya, hindi natin kinoconsider na parang siyang triangle. So, ibig sabihin, parang equal na lang din halos sila. Kaya, tangent gamma is equals to gamma. Okay? Ibig sabihin, ang ating delta x nyan is equals to, sorry, ang mas magandang ano dito is, approximately. Yan. So, approximately equal to gamma. So, 1.75 multiplied by gamma na lang. Okay? So, displacement x delta x is equals to 1.75 multiplied by 0 0.0785 so delta x is equals to 1.75 multiplied by 0 0.0785 yan yan so 0 0.137 so 0 0.137 inch yan so sobrang lit nga yan Ayan. So, ito yung ating displacement na nangyari doon sa ating middle plate. So, this is our example number 2 for uniaxial, multiaxial, and shear loading topic. Okay?